Good evening. This time I'd like to call the Planning Commission meeting of July 9th to order. Let the record show that all members are present except Mr. Julio Dumas. I'd like to this time entertain a motion for acceptance of the minutes from the June 11th Motion meeting. to accept. Second. I have a motion by Sherry Sliman, second by Steve Barrow. Any opposition? Minutes are adopted. Item number four, public comment period. Anybody in the audience wishing to speak on any item on the agenda that's not on the agenda, excuse me, please come forward and you have three minutes to speak. No one wishing to speak. Public comment period is closed. Item number five, public hearing for granting approval for the Elfage Bourgeois Family partition. Here we have the surveyor here or property owners mm. representing them. <laughs> Mr. Laverne. My name is Laverne Bourgeois, and this is a piece of property that my family owns and wishes to give. Uh, it's actually two lots, and we want to divide it into three. One of them to be to one daughter and one of them to another daughter and one of them my wife and I would like to retain for maybe a future house for ourselves. And with that, we're asking the Planning Commission to uh, approve this division of property. Thank you. Commissioners, have any questions? I just have a, I have a couple of comments and that was um, the drainage servitude is not marked on both sides on the east and west side of the properties and I'm assuming the back of the property the north side is the drainage servitude also but if you you don't need all that drainage servitude okay maybe get rid of the on the north side of the property no <coughs> south side of the property south side. get rid of that drainage servitude if you have it on that, that would be okay um, the the surveyor put it on there understanding that it's a possibility although the need of it is not really required due to the fact that we have drainage on both sides and there is a, a big lateral ditch on the uh, west side and another one up to the, the south end so if the planning commission seems to think that that's too much of a servitude grant that'd be fine for me I'm just thinking about giving back some of your property I don't think you I appreciate need 30, feet, 30 <laughs> feet of drainage servitude Sorry, I'm late. That's okay. Hi, I'm Ronald Bennett with R. Bennett Engineering. Head surveyor for this project. Traffic. Ronnie did just ask if if they thought that this was you know excessive uh, servitude, and they would. Uh, Miss Page is saying that she would think if it'd be okay to take it out. Yeah, that'd be fine. Any other questions, comments? This time I'd like to open up the floor for public hearing. Anyone in the audience wishing to come forward and speak on this property, please come forward. You'll have three minutes. My name is Italia Gotro, and I own the property on the back side of this property. I don't know if you're going to call it. I don't know what direction to tell you people. But anyway, this right here is a picture. Can I get it? How do I get it on the screen for you to see? It should come up. There we go. Sir. Move it up. Like so. Okay. This is a drainage ditch that the parish dug in 2000. You, it was very dry that year, and you can see the sewage following that ditch as they're digging it. That's police jewelry equipment right here, and that ditch drains directly onto my property. And they are flooding my property with water all the way from the Pomeroy Road because this ditch connects to the Pomeroy Road ditch. My cupboards are washed completely 
out on the end of my property from water coming through there. Now this ditch was this size in 2000. It is eight years later and this ditch must be at least six or eight foot across the top and that deep. And the water is all draining onto my private property. Even though he has a ditch and a road, but Ella Road was not there when this ditch was put in. And the water is still coming through that ditch and it tops that ditch and Mr. Godin, CJ Godin, come to my house with a picture showing the water topping that ditch. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Edward Gotro. Uh, I own the property on the west side of this ditch. I mean, this property. Uh, it's, it's not him dividing his land up. It's him keeping his suet and his water on his property. Now, this been going on since 2000, which in 2000, they didn't have a, uh, a house on, along Ella Road. All the houses been built in there since then. Uh, now, they're dividing this land up. There's a family petition. And I'm, I don't know, I hadn't seen the thing, but they are building a house on this property right now. Plus, he's done gave his daughter uh, an acre on it. And like I said, I don't care how he's, he divides it. But the trouble is, he did not have nowhere for his suet and his water to go. Now, the parish dug the ditch illegally. I, they don't have a right away from me to put it on there. The ditch is all the way on my property. Uh, the state law states that you cannot put sewage in a ditch that's all the way on somebody's property. Uh, all I'm trying to do is save my property. I had a farm, and from what went on, I can't farm no more. I, I completely lost my farm. I got uh, nothing but crawfish farm now from all my neighbors putting water on me. And the thing about it is, you know, somebody got to do something about this. Now, I got one ditch that was dug illegal on me, and I stopped them on another ditch. So I don't know where all this water's going to drain. They hauled in hundreds of loads of dirt in there. And the water drain from north to south, they done completely blocked the south end of this property out. So I don't know where the water can go now. Well, I do know where it's going to go. It can go on me. And uh, they need to have a place to drain before this is passed. Thank you. Anyone else? All right. Public hearing is closed. You want to respond, please? With all due respect to my neighbors, the the lateral ditch which he's talking about is the one where the uh, bridge is across that property. That that canal was actually dug even before my neighbor bought the property. It tied into a, another ditch that come from Gold Place into Babin Canal, and that's where most of these people drain to. Presently, there are two residents that drain into that lateral ditch. One of them is my son. One of them is my daughter. The parish did dig this ditch. I don't know when it was dug, but I know it was before Mr. Toot bought the property that he's speaking of. And then the other effort is, it is a past year. It's been maintained over the numbers of years. Been dug, been re-dug twice in my lifetime. So the ditch is a past year. I don't know why any servitudes or right-of-ways that are required or not required at that point. I do know that the ditch has been there a long, long time, and it's very useful. The lateral of the land flows in that direction. Babin Canal is a conduit for drainage for the entire quadrant section of that from Gold Place to Beco Road. I'm sorry he's in the lives in the area he does live, and he has some situation, and I do um, understand his situation. 
but to say that we put in the water on it property would be, you know, false requirements because the fact that it is the ditches are there to drain those residents. And uh, I apologize for any inconvenience to him if I created any, which I don't think I have. And also about his comment about them bringing loads of dirt on the property. No. This property is in a flood zone, and you can't bring dirt into a flood zone area. They dug a pond on that lot behind the house. Yeah, we dug our own pond. Our own Where is the pond? The pond is actually back towards the back toward the rear of the property of LB1. South of the yeah, slab south. area. <laughs> Which way is the does the water drain? North to south, from from Gold Place Road, from from the south side of that, which that ditch is, it actually sheet flows over to Mr. Clyde Babin's property. Most of that water drains to the Babin property. That's south adjacent to this property. The water that comes through that lateral ditch, most of it comes. It does come down Go Place. I mean, uh, Ella Avenue Road. But that has always come there, has been there. There was an old field drain that comes through all the property when the, when it was formed area came to that direction. That's probably, a, I would say, from Go Place to Babin Canal is probably three and a half foot fall. So there's no way in the world you can make that water go any other direction. It just won't happen. We don't have adjacent property owners' servitudes, but wouldn't you think that Edward Gotro's property would have a 15% servitude staff? <laughs> Do you have any? I mean, typically, would wouldn't there be a Charles in in this situation? It really depends when it was created. Yeah, Mr. Steve, if I could answer that, there is a a ditch on the west side that comes all the way from Gold Place Road that goes directly on the, in Mr. Toots' property that goes all the way to Babin Canal. That is, that's part of the drainage that he's, that he's talking about. And that ditch was built probably in the 20s, dug by hand by the folks they call it a coot man. I remember my dad and the neighbors talking about this. Uh, the, to drain those people on the other side of Gold Place Road that come through there and on the, go, on the south side of Gold Place Road. Over my lifetime, that ditch also been dug twice by the parish. And there's a, I understand there's some legality of whether they can come back in there or not. That's the only section that is not presently maintained because Mr. Tutt won't let them go on that property, although it's still water travels through there. What, can, can you kind of get me uh, oriented to where that ditch is? Is it adjacent to your property? Or yes, sir. On right the left. Why don't you put the map on the overhead okay. and show us? That ditch comes starting here. It goes all the way across. It's directly adjacent to a servitude that now I'm saying it's okay to put on my property or that it's required to be put there. And that particular drainage ditch goes all the way into Babin Canal from Gold Place Road the Babin Canal. It's not marked on this plat, right. but there is a drainage corridor there. But again, I understand some concerns of, of my neighbors, and I respect them for that. But the fact is, everybody drains somewhere. This sewer has gone down to somewhere. Well, and the ordinance says it has to go to a parish ditch, so it, it's right. it's going to go to that ditch. It's going to go to that ditch on the other side, even if we have to pump it to water that ditch where the bridge is at. Presently, that mobile home drains into that lateral ditch, and on the existing lot where Trent Bourgeois lives and home, that that's a drainage right that it goes into that ditch. Then, as you go up to the to the east, there's many homes that drain through there from Bico Road, Pomeroy Road that he spoke about. There's no doubt about it; they do drain that away. 
the first uh, reference map comment in the very top says the division of seven lots from uh, Elfage. Elfage. Uh, bourgeois. Yes. How many properties is now included that would be those seven lots that were divided in 1992? Are we up to like okay. 15 or no? Um, not that many. I'm going to count. Is it one, two? There's six houses on the right hand side going down L Avenue, and that's presently a new home being built. And, and the other ones. <coughs> actually joined Go Place Road that were there prior to this division of property on the seven lots. Any other comments or questions? What is the wish of the commission? I'll make a motion to approve because I believe it meets the requirements of the ordinance. Uh, I do hope the gentleman who has the problem with the water can go to DPW or to our drainage, um, our drainage department and maybe work out something with them to, be, to get the problem cleared up. But that's not for us to decide here and now. A second. I have a motion by Sherry Sliman to approve, seconded by Page Becknell. Any opposition? Motion carries. Thank you. Item 5B, the family partition for the Charles Gomez property. Ellen Jackson with McLean and Associates. There were two comments. Um, they have been addressed. There is one additional change that was made to the plat. There was a, um, a utility servitude shown over there on track F1, which is on the Olean's property. We have moved it on the other side mm -hmm. of the Chris Gonzalez property. Asking for your approval. Commissioners, have any? Questions. Oh, Ellen, the only thing I noticed um, up at the dedication, up on the top of your notes, it should, instead of saying to the owner, it should say to the family member since it's a family partition. Okay. Any other comments, questions? This time I'd like to open up the floor for public hearing. Anyone wishing to comment on this parcel, please come forward, sign in. You'll have three minutes to speak. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is uh, Jan Mark Abel. I, I, I believe I'm addressing the right property. I thought you had said Char uh, Gomez. Yes, it's Gonzales. I, uh, hey, it's Gonzales. Okay. I'm a yes, little hard to hear, you know. I think you're right. Uh, Yes, sir. I uh, I own a property uh, on on the south side, and I've talked to the McLennan Associates engineers as well as the as the property owner, and I'm okay. I don't have any issues with it, provided they uh, do drain their any fluids on their property away from my property, not through my property. And right now, their plan is to take it to the north, which is just fine with me. And as a matter of fact, I encourage a development in that area. I think it's awesome. Thank that's, you. That's all I have. Thank you. Anyone else? Public hearing is closed. Since you don't have to address any I, comments. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner, do you have any more comments or questions? The only thing I wanted to say, Ellen, mm -hmm. I think it, this appeared to me like y'all are planning ahead. I think there is a possibility of further development on the other side or further division. But I, it looks like you've planned ahead for it, giving the needed right of way this, you know, well, in I, advance. I, I just didn't want any problems. I just want to have more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think you covered it. Okay. Any other comments, questions? 
What is the wish of the commission? Well, given it meets the requirements for family partition, uh, move for approval. A second. And we have a motion by Steve Barrow to approve, seconded by Sherry Sliman. Any opposition? Motion carries. Thank you. Item 5C, the Floyd Womack property, lots X1, X2. Good evening, Commission members. My name is Bill Fiesel. I conducted the survey and created the map you have in front of you of the Floyd D. Womack family partition. And we are asking the Commission's approval of this partition tonight. I'd like to give you a little bit of history on this map. <coughs> this partition, almost exactly as you see it, was approved in 2002 by the Ascension Parish Planning Commission. The Womack family did not conduct their business affairs at that time to get the lots transferred into the family members' names, and the period to do so has expired, and the parish has required a uh, new map to be brought before you. This new map uh, is exactly the same as the old map in insofar as the uh, area of the properties are exactly the same, the location of the properties are exactly the same. There are a few servitudes and a few items that are required on the the map in 2008 as a result of the updates of the standards uh, from 2008 uh, going back to 2002. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Commissioners have any questions or comments? I had a question about a note that you've got. The servitude note saying there's no representation that all applicable servitudes or restrictions are shown. Aren't you responsible for showing? Isn't that your responsibility to show that? But it seems like this is a disclaimer that maybe you're not showing them. It is a disclaimer of sorts. Uh, unless the surveyor is tasked to go out and uh, find every single servitude and there's been some abstract work done uh, to advise of every servitude that may be encumbering the property, uh, that is a different type of survey. Uh, what I do is uh, standard for any property survey is I go out there and any visible encumbrance on the land is shown. If there's, a, for instance, overhead power lines or something that may or may not have a servitude associated with it, I will show the overhead power line. That serves notice to any third parties that uh, there's a power line there, there may be a servitude associated with it. But that is a standard disclaimer that many surveyors use on their map. It's one that I've used for years. So what I'm saying is I am verifying uh, what I am showing here as, as a servitude, but uh, unless you get into what's known as alter surveys, uh, uh, that's beyond the scope of a, a normal property survey to, uh, to make a statement that all servitudes or encumbrances are shown here on. It's not one that we normally see, so I just, O'Neill, is that, is that acceptable, do you think? Which, where is it? I mean, it's right in the middle at the bottom on the right, under notes, the second note. I don't have a problem with, uh, if he did a top graph survey just to show what's out there, he's not doing, he didn't go do any other thing, so I don't have a okay. problem. Any other comments or questions at this time? Hearing none at this time, I'd like to open up the floor for public hearing. Anyone wishing to come forward, comment, please sign in. You'll have three minutes. No one wishing to comment. Public hearing is closed. Commissioners have any final questions or comments? Not just one question for staff. You are satisfied that this plat conforms with the ordinances as, as they stand today? Yes. Okay, and one more. Um, 
to get to lot X2? Will there be a bridge or a culvert, or how will you cross that drainage area? Probably will put a culvert in his name, but that deep. Okay. It hasn't been dug since 1980, and I have went over my tractor and sloped it out where I could keep it push hogged and cut like my yard. You really want to know the truth. I keep all nine acres that way. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No other questions or comments? What is the wish of the commission? I make a motion to approve. Second. <clears throat> have a motion to approve by Paige Becknell, seconded by Steve Barrow. Any opposition? Motion carries. Thank you. <clears throat> Item number six, public hearing to consider the following servitude revocation, Thornton, Harris, Harbison, and Rhodes real estate property tracks A3, A1, A3, A2, A3, A3. 15 foot drainage servitude extending through each of these three tracks. Anyone here to speak on this? Yeah, we're getting too efficient. We're moving too fast for people. Anyone here representing servitude revocation? Commissioners have a recommendation. What have we what have we been doing when people uh, don't show up? I think defer it. You can defer it till the end, maybe they'll show up or you can defer it till next month. Do we have to re advertise if we do next month? Do you really need to go ahead and defer it? I mean, we've gotten comments from the uh, uh, Sea Suspension Drainage District. They're not, they're, they're revocating one servitude, but they're providing us with another servitude. You can go forward with it. You don't need to, you can go forward. I'm, I'm, you know, is it, is it really going to benefit us to defer this to bring it back next month? <clears throat> when you, when you got the proposal right here in front of you and there's nobody here to answer any questions. But the the yeah. thing I'd be concerned about is what kind of precedence that sets in the future for people. Hey, look, that one guy didn't show up, so maybe I won't show up and get mine passed too. It can be on a case by case basis. I'm just looking at what's what's presented here. Uh, you got to open the public hearing before you can act on it. That's the only thing. You right. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I don't want to open a public hearing if we're not even going to. Discussion. All right, well, let's <clears throat> move forward. We'll open the floor for public hearing. Anyone wishing to come forward, speak on this? Please come forward. You have three minutes. Hearing none, public hearing is closed. What is the wish of the commission? To make a motion to go ahead and accept it as presented. We have a rec staff recommendation to uh, approve. We have the comments from the East Decision Drainage District and uh, recommend to approve based on comments from staff in the Drainage District. Conditioned upon compliance with the uh, East Ascension Drainage District. Thank you. I'll second it. <laughs> I have a motion to approve by Michael Marshawn with the conditions uh, that it meets all the requirements of the Drainage District, seconded by Don Grant. Any opposition? Motion carries. Committee reports, subdivision ordinance committee. Ms. Slyman. We have three items that I believe we need um, a motion for a public hearing for next month on each of these items. The first item is 
uh, to amend the ordinance. What we want to do is add two words, um, changing the ordinance from the lot numbers being created to the lot numbers being created and serviced. Uh, currently, we only consider the number of lots being created. There may be 20 lots, excuse me, and this is on a road. There may be 20 lots who use the road, but our current ordinance says that we only have to consider what's being created, not what's being serviced on the road. So in order to have adequate servitude, if and when a road is accepted into the parish system, the committee would recommend, or the committee request a hearing um, to recommend the width be required by the number of lots being serviced other than the number of lots being created. Motion to hold a public hearing for the next regularly scheduled meeting. Second. I have a motion by Michael Marshawn <clears throat> for a public hearing next month. Seconded by Beverly Barry. Any opposition? I just have a comment. Uh, the, the way it reads is kind of confusing to me because it says one to three lots is, is 40, one to five lots is also 50, and one to seven lots is also 60. Uh, have we considered maybe cleaning it up to say one to three is 40, four to five is, six, is 50, and six to seven is 60? We will look at that and add that in. Just because it was messed up at the beginning doesn't mean we have to continue it being messed up. I'm not sure. we'll, uh, we'll look at it and see if there's a reason for it. Okay. Okay. Okay, the second <laughs> item. Wait, wait, let me vote. I'm sorry. Any opposition? Motion carries. All right. Okay, the second item the uh, committee would like to bring before the commission is to propose a safety shelf in detention retention ponds, wet ponds. Um, stink, excuse me, steep embankments could be hard to climb out of. They can be hazardous to children, maintenance, and pets. And, um, as, and also part of this is um, to put grates on culverts, require grating on culverts to prevent children from getting inside of the culverts and possibly being trapped in there. So this is another item I'd like a recommendation for hearing. Motion to hold a public hearing at the next regularly scheduled meeting. Second. Motion by Michael Marshawn, second by Paige Becknell. Any opposition? Motion carries. Okay, and the third item is to, I believe this is an ordinance change, to amend the ordinance to require a two-year maintenance bond instead of a one-year maintenance bond uh, on subdivision approvals, final approvals. Motion to hold a public meeting at the public hearing at the next regular scheduled meeting. Motion by Michael Marshawn, second by Beverly Barry for public hearing next meet next month. Any opposition? Motion carried. And our next meeting, I believe it is Monday, the, I believe it's the 28th. Monday. It will be at 2 o'clock. Oh, okay. Your committee meeting. Right. Correct. <clears throat> gotcha. Thank you, Jerry. Strategic planning committee meeting, any, none? Thank you, Rick. Old business, Raphael M. Arsenault property, lots R4A and R4B. Ellen Jackson with McLean and Associates. This is one from last month where it <clears throat> wasn't too clear as to where we, sh uh, the additional servitude was needed. Um, however, uh, I did take it all the way to the bridge, which is more than the Planning Commission acts, I believe. So we're asking for your approval. Councilmen, have any questions or comments? Commissioners. I just want to thank you for going back and, and asking and getting the requested right of way that we asked for. You're welcome. Did, I'm trying to remember. Did we do a public hearing last time? Did I think we did. We did. Yeah, yeah, that's, we did. that's what I'm thinking too. So don't, we don't need to reopen public hearing. What is the wish of the commission? I make a motion to approve. Second. Motion by Paige Becknell, seconded by Don Grant. Any opposition? 
Motion carries to approve. Thank you. Number nine. Uh, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. We are adjourned. <laughs>